So the media market over the past year has really had a pretty dark cloud uh, hanging over it in terms of uh, declines in ad revenues and this has been felt both online and offline where as a result of the recession and decreased consumer spending there's really been fewer ad uh, opportunities out there. Now in some cases there are still opportunities. Search has been a very popular medium um, and that's also part of uh, part of the issue is just the changing behavior and so there's more competition so if you look online for example there are lots of new websites in almost every category coupons are a great example you used to get coupons in the Sunday newspaper so you could go shopping now you can just go online and print off coupons and so this has become something that is kind of eating away at uh, traditional offline revenues, classifieds are another great example where over the past five years or so online classifieds have continued to grow. You've got lots of the Craigslist, Kijiji's out there and they've really stolen a lot of market share away from the newspapers and previously that was kind of the bread and butter of uh, those media sites. Traditional media uh, is not going away by any stretch of the imagination. There are lots of established brands out there uh, for newspapers, television properties, and so there's definitely this strong relationship for television, for example. Lots of TV shows, CNN is a really good example of they use their television broadcast to drive traffic to their digital properties. So either their actual website for additional content and more information or also Facebook and Twitter have been huge for them as well. So they offer this opportunity where you can interact uh, almost with these famous um, telecast, you know, sorry, uh, where you can interact with the anchors of the shows. And the newspapers have done very similar things as well, as well as magazines. And so the editors, for example, all have Twitter feeds where you can interact with the editors. And so it adds this extra layer of content where you need to be reading the traditional pubs, either online or offline and then you can discuss these topics with them also. And so I think there's been a lot of shift in the content distribution, so where people are getting their uh, news from. So it could be perusing the headlines on Google News or also subscribing to Twitter feeds from folks or even seeing a retweet from one of your friends. The distribution has changed, but many of the properties are still around and they've been around for a long time and they've established a strong relationship with many of their customers through either a specific journalist and so they particularly like that journalist and their point of view and they trust them and also just the overall trusted brand of those uh, newspapers that have been around for a long time so it's not that they're going to go away but they do have to be smarter about the way they offer things and the way they generate revenue.